Hello everyone, it's David. I'm back making some more videos. So I was looking for some projects that I could do with the Arduino and I've run out of project ideas in the sketchbook from SparkFun and SunFounder. So the next type of projects I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the Arduino ones that come included in the sketchbook or the examples in the uh, Arduino software. So I'm gonna be doing number one, basics, right here. And I'm gonna be doing the uh, analog read serial. So this is the code that they have. And these, the sketch I'm gonna be doing with the Arduino Nano. So let me show you uh, what the Nano looks like. And I'm also going to open up here the, uh, the serial monitor, so you can see that it's working. And if I move the potentiometer up and down, you can see that it's changing the value. And I'll show you what the project looks like. So, Here's my Nano that I have. This wire is going directly into the computer because it's using the serial monitor. I'm using uh, only three uh, pins. It's the ground, five volts, and A0. This is my potentiometer. And it's being hooked up to the ground, five volts, and this is being hooked up to A0. So this is uh, something new I bought pretty recently. Uh, everything else I've been using was with the Arduino R3. And now I'm going to try with the Mini all the projects. This way I have a good understanding of everything. But that's really about it. A very sh simple project. It seems to be working great. This is Arduino example digital read serial. This is the code. And what it does is it prints out the display on the serial monitor. As you can see, I have the program up and running. And once I press the push button, this is when it's off, it's reading one. And when it's on, when it's being pressed, it's zero. So let's see what the, uh, see it's on and off. So let's see what the, uh, the project looks like. I have here is the Arduino Nano. And this is the push button. Now, this is something that I still haven't really uh, understand completely, but you need a resistor. I was looking at another project and it had a resistor. If I try it without the resistor and just put a wire there, it's not gonna go. It's just, it's not, the project's not going to run correctly. And you press the button, and that allows um, it to read a 1 or a 0. Okay, here's another sketch. This is a, uh, a fade of an LED on pin 9. And this is what it looks like. This is a part of the Arduino um, sketches that come included with the compiler. So this is what it looks like. And I'll show you the uh, what it looks like as well. This is the code. And this is the actual project. So I'm using my Arduino, um, the Nano. This is being hooked up with the computer for power. And it looks like it's fading in and out, up and down. One thing is that there is a resistor here. And I know from a previous project, if I take off this, I'll show you. The bigger leg is where the resistor goes. So let me put it back in there. So the, the positive side 
usually put the resistor and that's what I'm doing right now and one is for a vol uh, one is for volts one is for the negative side and this is being run on let's see here running on pin number nine looks like so I'm using my nano and it's working nicely this is another sketch that was featured in the Arduino uh, compiler, Arduino uh, 1.65. If you go to file, go to examples. This is where I am right now on the basics. And I'm going to read analog voltage. This is the program that's featured. What I did was I just added a little delay at the end. I uploaded it to my Nano. I'm running a nano right now and what I'm doing is I'm going to open up the serial monitor so you can see what's going on. This is the serial monitor and if I increase the voltage it should go all the way up to 1.5.0 and there you go and then we can take it all the way down. This is running with a potentiometer You can see it's going up and down while I control the potentiometer. So this is the code. Once again, I'm running in the Nano and I'll show you what the Nano looks like. And this is running from, I think it's pin A0 right here. And this is my potentiometer and you just you just um, control the knob just like this, and you can get the results on the serial monitor. Thanks, thanks for watching. This was another quick video. I think we did all the introductory uh, ones for the first chapter. And now I'm going to move on to the... Uh,